Welcome back to Tin and Fern's Build Up to Christmas. We're unwrapping the perfect gift one letter at a time as we approach now very close to Christmas Day. So far we've found G to be for God. God is the creator. He has the whole world in his hands. He put every single star in the sky and yet he knows your name. I was for Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. You see, God is not just high in the sky and distant from you. God has come to us through that baby born in Bethlehem. And F was for forgiveness. It's not being good enough that saves us. It is recognizing that we're not good enough, that we are sinners and need a savior who can save us. We will be forgiven for every sin past, present, and future. Now there's just two days to go until Christmas itself. It is not time to unwrap your presents yet, but it is time to unwrap the final part of our gift. So lastly, T is for trust. The verse I'm going to read to you from the Bible I'm sure is well known to almost all of you, whether you go to a church or don't. It's John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever would believe in him will not perish, but have eternal life. This verse encompasses all of the words that we have looked at in these videos using G-I-F-T. John 3.16 speaks of God, God who sent. Jesus, it also speaks of who went, the Emmanuel. Forgiveness, it speaks of, as we will not perish with our sins. And now, trust. Because those who believe, those who trust, are the ones who will receive eternal life. There's an important word in that verse that I don't want you to miss. It's the word whoever. Whoever believes. That doesn't sound like a list of criteria to me that we need to meet before we turn and run to Jesus. There's not a certain amount of church attendance getting your life in order that needs to happen first. But the Bible says Whoever, whoever believes in Jesus will not perish, but will be saved. In our first video last week, I mentioned one of my friend's Facebook posts. Their status said, life is short, so let's live every moment to the full. Well, contrast that with a man named C.T. Studd. He wrote... Only one life, it will soon be past. Only what's done for Christ will last. We will all engage in many jobs, hobbies and relationships in our lives. But at the end of the day, what matters most is what did you do with Jesus? It is only when we come to him that our sins can finally be dealt with that our sins are placed upon his shoulders and I, you, will be forgiven. So what are you going to do with Jesus Christ? Don't just leave him in the cradle this Christmas, but resolve to discover for perhaps the first time the real meaning of C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S. Christmas. It's all about Christ. And I finish with one line that I want you to remember and think about. The greatest gift ever given was not placed under the tree. He was placed on the tree. Thank you so much for watching these videos. You're most welcome to any of our services in Tain and Fern on Sunday, Christmas Day. I do hope you have a very happy Christmas and may the Lord bless you as we enter 
into the new year.